look who finally decided to get up. Going to look for work today? <laughs> really, Dad? Work? Is that all you ever think about? Everybody needs money. We all have to get it somehow. You're always so focused on work, work, money. Meanwhile, I'm competing in biking competitions every week on a bike that's nearly falling apart. I told you before I don't have the money. Mother and I have a mortgage to pay for. If you really need it, get a job. You know I can't do that in college. Not with the schedule I've got. I don't think this bike is gonna hold much longer. It really needs repairs, Dad. Are you two gonna do this all day? Not unless he gives me the money to fix it. Do I look like I'm rich? Whatever. I'll see you later. Your dad being such an ass about it. Yeah. It kind of sucks, but whatever. I'll figure out another way to get the money anyway. I should get going. It's getting kind of dark, man. Oh. All right, just text me tomorrow if you want to hang out again. Oh, and hey, Kurt. Yeah. You might want to be careful. Those brake lines look like they're pretty worn out. Huh. Don't worry about it. I taped them up this morning. They should be fine. <laughs> See you, man. Peace. So how are things at head office? Good. We're looking to expand. Want to buy stock in New York. Really, New York? Do we have staff down there yet? Not yet. But that's where you come in. I want to make you coordinator on this. I think you can put together a pretty good team for us down there. George, this is my home. I can't just move like that. My family loves it here. Paul, you've been with the company how long? Twelve years? You must be looking for a new challenge. I mean, I've made sacrifices for this company, and it's a great opportunity, but I can't just pick up and leave. I mean, it's... Sir, sorry to interrupt. Your wife is on the phone? She says it's urgent. Tell her I'll call her back. Sir, it's urgent. Your son is in the hospital. Excuse me. Where is he? How is he? They took him from the ambulance and they rushed him to the ER, but I haven't heard anything. Glenn? Paul? Yes. Okay, I've got some news on your son. The impact of the collision has caused some severe damage to the ligaments in his left leg and has fractured his foot. We'd like to operate right away and realign this foot to prevent severe damage in the near future. But there's a risk to this procedure. Sir? What are the risks? There could be bad circulation, excessive swelling, and no feeling in that leg. So we need to realign that foot. Fill this chart out with his medical history and bring this to the nurse when you're done. Okay? Take this after go. Wait! Your son needs you! I need you! No, Joanne, this is important. Can't it wait? Long Are you okay? George called for you. I'm gonna need you to cancel all my appointments for the next month. 
I spent too much time sitting at my desk, staring. I didn't take time to look up and realize what's really important. I'm leaving for the night. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I'm just gonna stick around for a little bit longer. Um, turn off the lights on your way out. This is Dr. Corbin from St. Andrew's Hospital calling. We've got some good news about your son's surgery. It was successful. Thank God. Now within a few months of rehabilitation, he could be close to normal again. Okay. How is he? He's good. He's in the ICU resting right now, so don't worry. He's in good hands. Thank you, doctor. How was the gym? Good. Um, we did a couple of extra minutes today. I'm pretty sure I'm pedaling a lot faster than Pat now. Do you have any plans for tomorrow? Mm, no, not really. We got something out in the yard that'd keep you pretty busy. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> we gotta realize you live in southern Alberta. It's windy every day. Just face it, the neighbors really don't care where the leaves go. <laughs> no, not, not that, uh... Talk to the guys down at the bike shop. You didn't have to do that. It was my fault. No, Kurt, it was my mistake. Um, after dinner, we'll go outside and take a look at your bike. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. See you at the office. Morning, Kurt. Morning, Dad. You going to work again? Actually, no. Uh, just off the phone with George. The company is allowing me to hire the new CEO for the New York branch and making me the quality control inspector instead. So, what does that mean? Well, I'll be in charge of the, all the company's trading offices. Which means I'll only have to go into each office once a year. So, I'll uh, be working from home from now on. Wait, does that mean you're coming to my competition this weekend? Of course. 